this video let's see properties of convolution is commutative property we already know the commutative property it says that x of t convolution h of t is equals to h of t convolution x of t so let's prove this we know the convolution formula x of t convolution h of t is equals to integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau h of t minus tau d tau let's replace t minus tau as equals to mu in above equation uh, we get tau as equals to t minus mu and the differential d tau is equals to minus d mu then the limits as tau tends to minus infinity mu tends to plus infinity and uh, as tau tends to plus infinity mu tends to minus infinity so substituting the values we get integral infinity to minus infinity x of t minus mu h of mu d minus d mu so we can reverse the integral limits by removing the minus we get x integral minus infinity to infinity uh, we can rearrange the terms h, h of mu x of t minus mu d nu so this looks like a convolution between h of t and x of t so which can be written as h of t in convolution x of t which is same as x of t convolution h of t this can be also proved in discrete domain that is x of n convolution h of n is equals to h of n convolution x of n so we get like this x of n convolution h of n is equals to summation k minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k replacing n minus k to m and k to n minus m we get the limit k tends to minus infinity m tends to infinity and k tends to plus infinity m tends to minus infinity so we write summation m equals infinity to minus infinity x of n minus m into h of m here the limits you sum it from minus infinity to plus infinity or plus infinity to minus infinity is going to be the same hence we can also write this as summation m minus infinity to infinity x of m h of n minus m here we are again rearranging h m and h of m and x of n minus m so if we see this equation we get h of n convolution x of n which is same as x of n convolution h of n so next property we will see is associative property it says that x of t convolution h1 of t whole convolution h2 of t is equals to x of t convolution whole of h1 of t convolution h2 of t so let's see the proof for this let's take left hand side terms lhs as equals to x of t convolution h1 of t whole convolution h2 of t where x of t convolution h1 of t can be considered as z of t just a one term in convolution with h2 of t we know the formula integral minus infinity to infinity z of tau h of t minus tau d tau where z of t is nothing but x of t h1 of t z of tau becomes uh, which is nothing but convolution of x of t and h1 of t it becomes integral minus infinity to infinity x of mu h1 of tau minus mu d mu Here, tau and mu are used for representing that they are different signals substituting that is z of tau value we get lhs as equals to integral minus infinity to infinity integral minus infinity to infinity x of mu h1 of tau minus mu d mu into h2 of t minus tau d tau we can rearrange this integral as integral minus infinity to infinity x of mu into integral minus infinity to infinity of h1 of tau minus mu into h2 of t minus tau d tau d nu here t tau minus mu we can replace it by some other uh, term eta then tau is equals to eta plus mu then uh, differential d tau is equals to d mu and the limits will remain same minus infinity and plus infinity 
so we get integral minus infinity to infinity x of mu into integral minus infinity to infinity h1 of eta h2 of tau t minus mu minus eta d eta into d mu now this term integral minus infinity to infinity h1 of eta into h2 of t minus mu minus eta d eta can be written as h of t minus mu d mu then we get integral minus infinity to infinity x of mu h of t minus mu d mu this is nothing but again convolution between x and h that is x of t convolution h of t where h of t is convolution between h1 and h2 so we get substituting h of t as h1 of t convolution h2 of t we get lhs is equals to x of t convolution of h1 of t convolution h2 of t which is nothing but rhs next property we will see is distributive property it says that x of t convolution h1 of t plus x of t convolution h2 of t can be written as x of t convolution of h1 of t plus h2 of t simply taking x of t common so we get lhs as equals to x of t convolution h1 of t plus x of t convolution h2 of t which is nothing but integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau h1 of t minus tau d tau plus integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau h2 of t minus tau d tau so this equation we can take common x of tau and the integral part uh, so we can write it as integral minus infinity to infinity x of tau into h1 of t minus tau plus h2 of t minus tau into d tau where h1 of t minus tau plus h2 of t minus tau can be considered as one single term h of t minus tau so this equation is just a convolution equation of between x of t and h of t so we can write it as x of t convolution h of t where h of t is nothing but h1 of t plus h2 of t that is sum of h1 and h2 hence the lhs is equals to x of t convolution h1 of t plus h2 of t which is nothing but rhs